In our last video, I showed you how to create this high fidelity design using this wireframe as a reference. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pretty interesting prototype very quickly. And when, when I say prototype, what I mean by that is kind of go, it's kind of showing a little animation of how things would look going from one screen to the other. You can always have different screens that you're showing to your clients or some decision makers or developers in general but you want to show also what how things would look how things would look when they're going from screen to screen and how things might feel when you're animating and this is a good example to show how to accomplish that so i went ahead and created this um, profile screen here just to jump ahead a little bit and what i'm going to do now is here on the left side you have design prototype and code i'm going to click on prototype and when we click on prototype, we actually get to some new selections here on the right side. And if I click on this um, little section, if I click on this section, I get this little this little dot and I can just choose it and I can go to different screens. So that means when I click on this section, it'll take me to this next screen. And I can show you a quick example of that, what that would look like. So I could come here where it's in prototypes, there's a little play button I can hit play and it opens up a new screen and my my screen generates the reason it loaded in that iphone if i click outside i'm just not clicking on the board i'm clicking outside on the canvas and when I'm clicking outside i can see here there's different information and it says here device this is iphone 11 pro and you can have models you can have different ones i have the gold chosen so when i hit play uh, they get, i get this device which is really really nice so remembering that we created that action Let's go from one screen to the other. So if I click anywhere outside, if I click here, you could see here that this has a link that we created earlier. Now, if I click this link, it takes us to that to that screen, which allows us to quickly jump from screen to screen in a prototyping environment. Now, if I come to this back button and I click here and just move this arrow over here, now we're gonna have an action to go back. So now we could come over here I could click the back and now it's taking me back to the previous screen. So now we're going, we're going from screen to screen. We're going back and I'm choosing this and I can go back and forth. So if you have a lot of different screens, you can show your whole flow. Something that's pretty cool that exists within Figma is something called auto animate. So when you load from screen to screen, you can actually have things kind of auto animated. Let me show you an example of what I mean by that because it makes your prototype look way better and hyper realistic. I'm gonna come down here and click this arrow and I'm gonna come here on the side and you could see here there's something by default. It's usually gonna say instant and I'm gonna come here and change that from instant to smart animate. And I'm gonna come back to this screen and then when we had the arrow here, I'm gonna change that from instant to smart animate as well. And I'm gonna, and with the auto animate enabled, let me show you an example of how you can do some really cool animations very quickly. So I just copied and pasted this add button that we created earlier. And you could see here that the title of it is called add. And on this side, it's also called add. So as long as the layers are named the exact same layer, the system's gonna know how to animate and let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna come over here and press play again. And when I hit back, you can see that this play button is, it's auto animating to, this, to the placement of where it's located on that screen. So I'm going back and forth within the screens and you can see how it's auto animating. So in a real life example, let me just delete this screen from there. In a real life example, I could take something like this screen and put it on this screen, put it down a little bit and maybe move it out of the frame. And then taking this play button, maybe I'm gonna put it behind in the layer hierarchy. I'll put this behind those frames, something like that. And I'm gonna move it to the side so it's on the, on the right side and you could see here then I'm gonna come over here and just play this thing to show you what's happening. And you can quickly see how these animations are affecting our screens as we're jumping back and forth within our prototype. You could see that the add button is coming in left and right and this bar at the bottom is coming up and down. So I'm gonna go back to our design and I'm gonna choose 
these sections. I'm gonna group them and I'm gonna bring them onto this screen. And I'm just gonna move this up out of our frame. And then I'm gonna come back over here and play. I'm hitting our link and it's coming down and things are just kind of auto animating. And with this link on the top that says share prototype, I can click on that and I can come over here and say copy link and I can literally send this link to anybody, whether it's a developer or a decision maker or um, somebody on your team that you need to, so you need them to check this design out to give you some feedback. You can send them this link and they can just open that directly in their browser. And based on what they think, they could come over here on the side and there's a button here on the top left, add comments. They could hit that and you can actually come over, come on your prototype and just start acting, adding comments. They could say something like, I like this post and then when you come to your design you can hide the comments and you can reveal the comments and you're able to actually see them and when you get all the comments from different people you could come here back to your board and when you click on comments you could see here on the on the side you'll get all your comments here and then you can just go through them and kind of reply back to the comments and make some changes as necessary in this video i showed you how to create a prototype and jumping from screen to screen and I also showed you how to share your document and how to potentially leave comments and how to have people leave comments for you and for you to kind of see where those comments are. In the next video, I'll show you how to have kind of prepare a mini design system.